Welcome Capricorn to your July Asher Dice reading. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight into this. Best message. And for those of you who are new, this is where you take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Using only one of the 12 houses. So, best house, please. Best message. Going straight into some Jupiter energy with some Cancer. Ooh, going straight into the 10th house. So, you're in Jupiter over here. Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck is coming through in this month. So really wanting to make the leap of faith for sure. Um, having that cancer, cancerian uh, energy coming through, this energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It could also concern family, a mother or a child, or anyone within the family or people that you, you know, really, truly love. Um, and then going straight into that 10th house, 10th house is talking about your achievements and status in the outside world so this is talking about work people on the outside your neighbors um your you know friends that you really truly care about um anything that you do on the outside of the homestead okay so definitely there's co-workers things like that you might even think of your co-worker you've worked with her forever and maybe you think of her as like a sister i'd give her off my back for you type of scenario um or going to work and working your hardest for your children, right? And having to deal with the outside world. <laughs> yeah, that could, that's everybody's scenario. Okay, let's go here, guys. One way or another. So getting straight into the situation. Situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Having a conclusion, but it doesn't feel like the conclusion is 100% completed because if the, it was completed, it would definitely be right side up. So this is saying I wanted this to have a conclusion, but it's not happening. So there's not the breakthrough that I wanted because I feel like somebody is not giving up the ghost over here. They just won't leave it alone. How are you going to have a breakthrough if they won't leave it alone um, with the five of cups? So yeah, it kind of disturbing. I feel like this is more disturbing because they won't leave this situation alone. They just want to keep bringing up the situation on the outside world and, you know, or something that has to do with the outside world. And it's just really, yeah, it needs to be justified, my friends. This really needs to come to an end. And you know it. And you know what? There's going to be an encouraging time coming, I think, within this month, to tell you the truth, because I can feel that energy that's saying, I've had enough, and now I'm going to continue to keep going and discussing my dreams so that I can actually make this come to a conclusion. Um, and I just feel like there's no follow through. So really, that's really wanting to turn those, those situations, you know, around, uh, going to the mid month over here. Yeah, definitely. Because there's no follow through with the dream and the goal. No, but you're super aware that there could be a time coming. If this had a conclusion that you would be aware that the luck would fall through, but you have to figure out which way you're going to go. So it's kind of like you're, you know, kind of stuck at a crossroads and thought trying to figure out what you need. There's going to be information that will surface up about the situation um, in this time, which I think will actually help connect you as well. So, so going to the end of the month. Still an imbalance, but you're definitely going to, yeah, I see that. Now, because they want us to continue to keep drama and keep trying to push you against the wall with the judgment over here, saying that there's no good ju judgment call. This person keeps making judgment calls against you that are not justified. See, because we already seen the justification in the front. I just want this justified. They're saying, I'm not going to justify this. So, but I, yeah, but you will find the victory to try to get past what's not justified. There's some untruths over here that you know that they keep discussing. Um, when it's coming up and it feels like it just keeps surfacing at the very beginning of the month about all of this drama. It could even be a past um, things that are going on that you just didn't want to have anything to deal with. Are they bringing up past unjustified things just for no reason whatsoever, you know, and just not, and it's kind of making a delay of how you're going to move towards the situation with the queen of coins. So you could be dealing with a Libra, a Capricorn, a Leo, or a Taurus. 
Um, and it's just saying, yeah, because I'm having a hard time moving forward towards you. Someone might actually be causing some kind of chaos and disruption of some kind of grudge holding or something going on over here. Um, but you need to rest easy about the situation. So having this connection, you're going to have to really think about what's going on with the, with the Four of Swords and have some kind of deep, profound level of um, just kind of uh, intuition and relaxation. There's going to be a lot of logical thinking going as well to try to keep that balance of what are they talking about? What are you perceiving? What are you giving out, right? So wanting to have this breakthrough, um, but it's going to actually have to come within yourself to probably not listen as much. Um, it's going to be kind of hard, though, if they're really in your face disrupting the situation when it comes to the cancer area of your family. So it, for some of you, it does feel like a lot of gossip or something coming, resurfacing um, about maybe someone around you or yourself um, for no reason. Or just some old issue that they should have let die, which is not dead. And for some of you, you might have thought it was dead and then they resurfaced this. You know, because it says where I thought it was going to die is now resurfacing. Where I felt I had victory and it was done is now coming back up. Um, so with the star upside down, it seems like a hopeless situation when it comes to this situation as well. I have the page of cups with the queen of cups. Whoa! Ding. Okay. Huh. It's almost like, well... Right when I thought we were going to get past this, here you come writing right along. Hey, look, I thought this was going to be done. It's almost like surprise, here we come. But it does feel like you also have this cancer around you who's traveling towards you, who's going to make more of a powerful energy. But I do feel like there's some bad habits that are going around over here uh, with a hangman over here. It kind of got you up in your head. Whew. But... One thing I do see here is that there's going to be some kind of reorganization that's going to have to take place, whether it's at the workplace or within the relationship itself, on how you're going to, you know, set your boundaries and get reorganized on how you're going to deal with this person. I do feel like you have this Cancer Pisces or this Scorpio coming through that's like, okay, you know what, we can do this and we will, we will travel towards, you know, getting to what we actually need. There could be a little self-sacrifice needed as well to actually move towards your passions um, this month. So trying to get away from this person or actually finalize this whole situation with them, however you're going to see it. But the drama continues towards the end of the month. They're not moving past it. They're, bring, they're lodging up the past. There's some kind of grudge going up here, over here and they're really lodging into this past, uh, really giving that to you. I still think it's about somebody else that's around you. Are they saying that the person that you're with is, you know, uh, trying to tell their secrets of the past? I don't know. Yeah. You know, cold shouldering the situation at the end of the month is actually going to allow them to kind of push back on the situation. So it almost feels like as soon as you stop... Don't entertain this, guys. Don't entertain this at all. Because it almost feels like at the end of the month, once you completely pull yourself away from the situation, block them, do whatever it is they need. If you're with another person, they need to block this person as well. You can't just go and block them if they're not blocking and vice versa, right? Because what it's going to have to come down to is it's going to be understood that these situations are not going to be listened to, dealt with, entertained. So do not entertain this. For some of you, you know, definitely could be a fire sign who, you know, is really pushing this out. Um, but however it is, you know, do not allow that to, yeah, just don't entertain them at all. Because it says as soon as you block them, right, and you go strong, then you won't feel like you're in such a challenge mode anymore within this person, right? Because now they're aware that you have block them and that they don't have any power anymore. So it's almost like you're suppressing their power by ghosting them, blocking them, not giving them any more attention. Um, you know, there could be spotlighters. That's why it could even be Leo's. <clears throat> but, uh, but there's other people who could spotlight. It doesn't just have to be that sign, right? Um, it's just anybody in general who really wants attention, right? So, uh, but definitely, 
definitely don't want to entertain any of this because it says as soon as you walk away and you don't entertain or interact with them anymore, right? Because it says right now you're, you might be confronting them. Are you confronting them and accepting? Because a lot of it's showing right here in the mid month that you are kind of, con right? You're moving towards them as they're moving towards you. So there could be some confrontation, right? And some actual confronting of the situation. Once you pull back and you get away from that situation, you're going to have a huge transformation that's going to take place because they don't have anything else to say because they can't attack you anymore. And, it, you know, it's kind of crazy because it's almost like they said, well, that's fine, right? Because they're really overindulging in this situation and they're really kind of getting your goat over here and they're enjoying that because they feel like they're kind of on top of the world and that they have to rein and pull, um, whether it's from you or this person around you. Um, I think it's both, to tell you the truth. I think it's it could be an interaction, you know, um, however you want to see it. There's definitely, definitely someone else involved for the majority of you. Yeah, and it could be a love situation as well, someone interfering from the outside world coming back through. So it could be an ex, something of this nature, because of the Six of Cups really shining through as bringing up um, old really unimportant situations guys I don't see anything important about this it's really just a nonsense that they're causing um, heartache and, and dismay through this situation for no reason it's for them that's for sure see because the energy flowing here you guys is all about what they're what they're doing right where they're getting some kind of attention out of it which is actually affecting your energy right? Because you have to deal with it. So this is going to be about having restraint and flexibility and exactly what you need and how you're going to refine yourself and really take the control and, you know, really set the stage over here and tell them, nope, you're not going to do this anymore. Um, so I'm definitely wanting to do that. And then they, they will definitely restrain and they're going to pull back towards the end of the month when they say, oh, look, because where I was going strong, you're not going to put up a challenge. Be, and now, right, they don't have any power anymore. Emperor upside down. I don't have the strength and power anymore because you took it away as soon as you ghosted me. <laughs> oh. So just more bad decisions on their part. Um, right? So don't have any mixed feelings about this situation. Just, you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Because, see, they have mixed feelings because they're going to try to keep trying to attack you. But it's showing that they don't have the force to do so. Doors are closed. Sorry. I'm not giving you any more, uh, you know, attention through this situation. So that's, uh, that's kind of the goodbye for them. And then that, guys, will definitely turn this right side up where you really want that to be. Now, how long that's actually going to take, it's going to be a while because we can only see that the end of the month, they'll, they'll pull back and say, okay, but who's to say that they ain't going to come back again, right? And try to re-reach re those limits again for whatever reason. They're having some kind of, they're wrestling with some kind of grudge, guys, okay? One way or another. They can't let it go, okay? And that will be it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.